Are all personal care products safe? This is JJ Virgin, four time New York Times bestselling author, celebrity nutrition expert, and fitness hall of famer. I've been on a lifelong quest for answers to the toughest health questions. And now I'm sharing what I found with you. Welcome to Ask the Health Expert. Kim H. from Facebook for the Smart Human asks, are personal care products all safe? If not, why not? What are the regulations in the U.S.? What are endocrine disrupting chemicals? Hey, it's JJ, and I have the perfect person to answer this. I have Dr. Ailey Cohen with me. She's triple board certified in internal medicine, rheumatology, and integrated medicine, and an environmental health specialist. And she's always been ambitious. She was even an EMT in high school. Plus, she's a huge animal lover and lives on a farm surrounded by them. She'll be right back with me. Stay tuned. Hey, it's JJ, and have I got a gift for you. 20% off your entire order at my store. That makes it a great opportunity to stock up on everything you want to get and stay healthy. Just go to jjgiftforme.com to get started. That's jjgiftforme.com. So the first thing people should really think about, which I didn't know myself, is that personal care products in the United States are actually not regulated at all for ingredients. That's right. They're not actually regulated at all for whatever ingredients are are put into them. So there's a variety of chemicals that have been found in many of the products that we lather onto our skin, we put into our hair, we put onto our children's skin. And there's many resources to figure out which ones are good for you and which ones are not so good for your body, for your skin, and for your immune system. So it turns out that, for instance, fragrance, fragrance that is in everything from laundry detergent and even our makeup and even to our fancy bottles of perfume, actually contain chemicals known as phthalates. And phthalates actually are made to keep fragrance lasting longer, to have a longer shelf life. But this particular class of chemicals known as endocrine disrupting chemicals, phthalates, are actually able to disrupt the human body's endocrine system in a variety of ways, whether it's at the receptors for hormones, which control our physiology throughout our body, be it thyroid function, weight gain or weight loss, insulin use, glucose breakdown, weight gain, uh, blood pressure. And certainly chemicals that can affect risk for endocrine sensitive uh, hormones. Uh, So cancers that are affected by the endocrine system. So we really want to think about how to have cleaner personal care products so that we don't put some of these chemicals like phthalates and a variety of other formaldehyde releasing chemicals into or onto our bodies. There's a great resource that I discuss in my book, Non-Toxic Guide to Living Healthy in a Chemical World. Some of those resources include uh, environmental working groups, skin deep database, where you can actually look up your products that you use and see whether or not there's any harmful contaminants or harmful ingredients and also choose better options. So that's just one resource I discuss in my book. Um, So it's very easy to manage these type of issues and to go through your baby products and your day-to-day products. Teenagers, by the way, use the most personal care products daily of any demographic. So if you have a teenager, definitely consider showing them the vetted app called Healthy Living and also the Environmental Working Group's website and help them navigate the world of personal care products because we love our stuff. We just have to do it very carefully and safely. This is JJ with Ask the Health Expert. I do this five times a week, so make sure you never miss a show by going to subscribe to JJ.com. <laughs>